Take you back to a time when Love was as precious as diamonds Where if you search you would find it I know that times have changed But I don't wanna play no What's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Barbie Sacks, the big one, not the little one. If you are a returning subscriber, welcome back, baby. If you are new here, do not forget to hit that subscribe button before you leave. So you guys, today is March 1st. It is 9.43, 9.47 a.m., but I'm driving and it's raining outside, so I'm trying to make sure I speak loud enough for you guys to hear me. And I got these loud windshield wipers on. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. I just got way too much going on right now. First of all, happy March 1st. Okay, it is the beginning of a new month. New months just do something to me like it sparks like the, the ambition in me i personally love new months because i feel like it's a new opportunity to meet your new goals girls on her way to get her hair done because y'all already know i normally do not wake up this early i had woke up at like eight o'clock y'all in the morning i was so freaking tired and last night i had a freaking paper due today so i stayed up to like two o'clock in the morning writing that so i only got like four hours of sleep last night no cap but let me show you guys how i'm getting my hair done today i don't really know what you would call them i know a lot of people call them like passion twists but I just call them twists with boho so this is how I'm getting my hair done so this is the style that I'm getting my hair done today I think it's so freaking cute but I had told her I was like listen okay don't put no big dookie parts in my head I don't want that all right <laughs> I do not want no big parts like I have a lot of hair if you know you know like y'all see all this hair I don't know if y'all can tell but I got a lot of freaking hairs but baby please don't put no big parts in my head to where my hairstyle do not last longer than a week okay I'm on my way now I think I'm like hold on how far am I I'm like 23 minutes away okay I'm super freaking excited about getting my hair done so <laughs> let's get this hair done <laughs> Let me take you back to a time when Love was as precious as diamonds Where if you search you would find it I know that times have changed But I don't wanna play no games, baby I'll treat you different Show you commitments She might be my baby So today is the next day. Today is March the 2nd. It is 2.31 p.m. And your girl just got up not too long ago. I made me some breakfast and now your girl is feeling rejuvenated, okay? <laughs> Yesterday I was so freaking tired. Oh my God, like y'all don't even understand the half. So I wanted to come back on camera yesterday and show y'all the actual finished results of my hair. But I got home so freaking late. Like my appointment started at 10 a.m. Y'all hear me out. Hear me out and pay attention. The appointment started at 10 a.m. I did not get out of there till 10 p.m. I was in that chair for like 12 hours. Like <laughs> literally 12 hours getting my hair done. But honestly, I'm not really mad at it or even mad at her because I know for a fact she was tired because I was tired too. I was hungry. I was tired. I was ready to go. But as long as my hair was cute, that's literally all I cared about. Just make sure you do my hair exactly how I told you to do it and we won't have no problems, okay? <laughs> but she most definitely did her biggest one. I just want to say thank you so much to my stylist and my stylist. Thank you to my stylist. <laughs> My girl definitely made sure she gave me enough boho. So I am definitely in love with my hair, y'all. And this is the final result. Uh, isn't it so freaking cute? <laughs> and it's so freaking long. Like when I show y'all how long my hair is, y'all gonna be like, girl, how the hell is you even working with all that? Let me show y'all how long it is. Hold on. Hold on. Let me flip it to the back. Can y'all see? Like when I tell y'all, it is so freaking long. Like it's literally touching the back of my kneecaps. Like it's me literally standing on my tippy toes. And y'all still can't even see, like that's crazy. So I did receive two packages in the mail today. <laughs> 
I'm like super freaking excited. So first and foremost, I just want to say thank you, Gita Home, for sending me over these packages. If you don't know Gita Home, Gita Home is a furniture company. Lately, I just been feeling really blessed, like really like, you know, really, really blessed. A lot of furniture companies have been reaching out to me lately. So they had sent your girl over a vanity table. And when I tell you this vanity table is so beautiful, like, ah. <laughs> I'm like literally lost my words. Like this vanity table is so freaking beautiful. I'm actually kind of scared because it's like two boxes and like a lot of pieces. So I'm hoping it doesn't take all day to, to set up the vanity table, y'all. But we just gonna see, okay? So let's do this unboxing. <laughs> packages that Gita Home has sent your girl, okay? And I am super freaking excited about this vanity mirror because what? <laughs> I haven't had a vanity mirror since 2015. Like, it's literally been like almost 10 years since I had a vanity mirror. So, I'm like super excited about this, y'all. So, let's just get straight into it, okay? <laughs> so, I'm gonna just go ahead and start um, boxing this package. I don't know which is which. They did send me two boxes, so I'm guessing like one of the boxes is the mirror and then the other box is probably like the table itself. But all I know is your girl gotta be like really careful, okay? And I'm just hoping and praying the people who had delivered this package was like not rough with it because I ain't gonna lie to y'all, like my past couple packages that's been sent to my house from other companies has been destroyed, okay? So let's just hope and pray that they was really gentle with your girl's package, okay? Because I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna be pissed off if anything in here is broke, okay? <laughs> Alright y'all, so I just got done putting together um, one piece of the vanity. I'm guessing this is the part where I put like my makeup products at. And I do want to say that this has a lot of pieces. So if you guys order the vanity, like it's going to be beautiful. Trust and believe it's going to be beautiful. But just know that it does come with a lot of pieces. And you know you have to have patience and just take your time. Because in the beginning, I kind of got a little frustrated because I'm like, ah, all these pieces, you feel what I'm saying? All these freaking pieces, like, I'm already stressed the hell out. But once I really just stopped and was like, ah, woosa, woosa. It honestly ain't that bad, okay? <laughs> so let's get done putting up this vanity mirror because I'm just ready to see the final results at this point. <laughs> girl finally finished putting together the vanity table y'all and sorry about my voice i know my voice sounds kind of crazy but that's because i'm getting sick so if my voice keep going in and out please just don't pay no attention to it okay i finally got done putting together the whole vanity and she's really pretty like she's cute okay 10 out of 10 i highly recommend so let me tell y'all my favorite part of the whole vanity and also tell y'all what i feel like makes it so unique from other vanities so my favorite part about the whole vanity is the lightning obviously duh like <laughs> So on this vanity, it comes with, I want to say, three or four different modes of lighting. And also on top of that is touchscreen. So all you have to do is just touch this button right here. And it turns it on. And like I said, it comes in like three or four different modes of lighting. So you can either choose from this one, this one, this one, or this one. <laughs> I think that is so freaking cute, y'all. This is definitely my favorite part of the whole vanity. What I feel like makes this vanity table so unique from other vanities is the fact that it has its own plug-in right over here. So let's just say if you want to do your hair over here or if you wanted to charge your phone, it does come with this little port right here if you do need like to charge your phone or if you need to plug up any of your like your hair appliances and stuff like that. I feel like that makes this vanity so unique from other vanities because a lot of vanities don't come with that, okay? <laughs> It also comes with four drawers on the table and the drawers are really, really deep. Like it's definitely enough space to fit all of your stuff. I'm just in freaking love. Like I want to say 
once again thank you so much you to home for sending me over this beautiful vanity table like i said i haven't had a vanity in so freaking long so this was like literally perfect freaking timing any of y'all are interested in this vanity table you already know your girl got the hookup for y'all okay <laughs> it wouldn't be barbie sex if i didn't hook y'all up so if any of y'all are interested in purchasing this vanity from you to home i do have a discount code for you guys the discount code is going to be barbie 15 and with that discount code you can get 15 percent off of this vanity so, so make sure you guys are taking advantage of this discount code and you guys go to your home and y'all shop with them okay because i promise you you will not be disappointed <laughs> i'm gonna make sure i drop all the information in the description box below so make sure y'all go shop with them good morning y'all so today is the next day today is actually it's not the next day it's like actually like a couple days later so today is monday it is march 4th it is 8 57 a.m hold on let me see if it'll focus it is 8 57 a.m and your girl has class today so i'm about to hurry up and get dressed right quick so i can make it to class on time my class start at 9 30 y'all <laughs> Literally not 30, like that's literally like in the next 30 minutes. So I'm trying to hurry up right quick. But I'm thinking about wearing like this cute like little two-piece set. I think I got this two-piece set from either like Fashion Nova or Sheen. One of the two, y'all. I don't really spend that much money on clothes because at the end of the day, it really don't be that serious. You know what I'm saying? I'm definitely a Sheen type of girl. Like I love a good deal on some clothes, okay? I'm definitely not the type of girl that like to spend too much money on clothes. So Sheen be like right up my alley. I ain't gonna hold y'all like. <laughs> and sorry about my room. I literally just got home today, so everything is literally everywhere. But let me hurry up and get dressed right quick before this class start because my school be tripping. Like, they don't care if you're, like, a second late. If you're a second late, they're literally going to mark you absent. Like, I just don't understand. Why do y'all honestly, truthfully care if I'm the one who's paying for school? But if you're, like, a minute late, they literally count you as late. Like, they literally do not care. I just kind of feel like as long as I'm the one paying for me to go to school, that's the only thing that should matter, okay? Until y'all start paying for me to go to school then only but then y'all should be that serious but until then wrap it up okay because it's never that deep all right yeah i am so happy that i got my hair done the other day because now i don't even have to put that much time and effort into my hair because it's literally already done so i think i'm gonna do this half up half down style that i had worn yesterday i just literally kept the rub band in <laughs> so y'all might be a little disappointed when i tell y'all this but i'm gonna just go ahead and say it anyways because we family at this point so it, it, it is what it is okay so <laughs> i was honestly thinking after this semester to just go ahead and wrap this school stuff up and that's honestly because like i just been lately i just been feeling like i haven't had enough time like i've never felt so time restricted in my freaking life like right now i just feel like i don't have enough time for like literally anything i don't have enough time for my channel i don't have enough time for my social media i don't have enough time for my family like i just feel like lately i just been really like time restricted and it's really because of school so i don't know y'all lately i just kind of been thinking like should i just wrap this school stuff up after the semester over i know y'all might be a little disappointed in me but <laughs> at this point it is what it is because your girl just i don't know i don't know how much longer i could do this to be honest i'm gonna try to keep pushing it through because honestly like i said i want to get my business degree so it's not that i don't want to finish school it's just literally the fact that it's just becoming a little too much for me. Like then I just started me a new business recently and I feel like I don't have enough time for that. So lately I just been feeling real like drowned. Okay. Drowned with work, drowned with school and not enough time for myself. But what y'all think? What y'all think I should do? Y'all think I should stick it out and keep pushing and try to just try to just go ahead and get it over with? Or do y'all think I should like take a, like a semester off and then try to like get my head together and then go back to school? Because I know sometimes people say when you like, you know, take a semester off, it'd be kind of hard to get back into school because you get used to not being in school. But once you feel like you have too much going on and you don't have enough time, at times that can be frustrating too. So y'all, please let me know what y'all think I should do. All right, y'all. So this is the fit for today. I think I'm just going to go ahead and wear all of my hair down because it's definitely eating. It's giving what it's supposed to give. I just need to find me some shoes to throw on right quick. Honestly, I think I'm going to do all black. This outfit is cute. Hold on. Like, I look real good right now. This outfit is really cute. So I think I'm about to just go ahead and throw on my Hirachis. Baby's all white. These ain't no Hirachis. Bad bitch. 50 flow eating hibachi. <laughs> Let me stop being ghetto. I'm about to go ahead and throw my shoes on right quick and head out the door for I'll be late. So, I'm going to see y'all when I'm on my way to class. <laughs> All right, y'all, so I am just now leaving the house. I just made it to school, thank God, because I'm just like so, so behind on time right now. I try to leave on time, but hey, it is what it is, all right? <laughs> 
one thing I have accepted about myself is that I'm just not good with timing like I'm just honestly not like I think I have more time than what I actually do and every single time it proves me wrong girl you do not have as much time as you be thinking you be having okay and I'm literally late for everything like it, it literally never fails but I just made it a school and I'm looking for a parking spot right now which is really annoying because we literally had to pay a hundred dollars just for our parking pass to park on campus just for us to never ever ever and when I mean never ever ever I mean never ever ever have anywhere to park so yeah there's that <laughs> but I'm gonna hurry up and park this car right quick y'all and run into this class because I'm so freaking late so I'm gonna see y'all when I get out of class <laughs> so I'm just now leaving my um second class I have one more class to go to until I'm completely done for the day oh my god I almost fell on something but oh my god let me just tell y'all so first and foremost i made it to my english class on time which was nothing but the good grace of god because i was literally running late but oh my god so let me just tell y'all something right right quick okay let me just put y'all in my business right quick okay <laughs> let me put y'all in my business right quick it does it seem like to me my teacher low-key like me and when i say like me i don't mean like like me like as a student like like me like like me like me okay <laughs> it's not even funny it's actually kind of creepy and cringing low key. Why do I hear a dog? Hold on, let me hurry up and get to my car because baby, I don't even play like that. All right. Oh. Woo! Woo! My baby, I had to come to the car and hurry up and make it quick because I had heard a dog outside. Baby, I don't even play like that. Okay. <laughs> I don't even play like that. I don't even get down like that. When it comes to dogs, if it's not mine, I don't play like that for real. <laughs> but let me tell y'all. Okay, so yeah. So let me put y'all in my business right quick. So like I was saying, I feel like my math teacher likes me. Okay. And like I said, like it's low key cringing. And the reason why I say that is because I have to see this man every other day. All right. And for the simple fact, I have to see him every other day. And I know he likes me. It's so freaking cringing to me. Like, why do you like me? Like, at this point, I really just want to understand, like, what made you like me? Like, what attracted you to me? Like, I know I look good. Don't get me wrong. Like, I know I look good. I know I'm beautiful. I know I'm cute. We, that's already established. But outside of that, like, what made you choose me you feel me so let me just give y'all like the whole rundown so y'all can have a better understanding i just feel like i just really had to tell y'all because it's really just kind of low-key been bothering me all right so boom this is where it all started quick little story time before i go to my next class so when class first started i remember everybody at my table because we sit at like a circular table so i remember everybody at my table a part of our grade was to participate we had to get to know the people that was around us because those are the people that we're going to be around for the rest of the semester so we're all talking and introducing ourselves to everybody around our table right so i remember he ended up walking over there by our table and when he came over there by our table first and foremost i already felt like he was already plotting on me so let's just start there but when i started talking and I started introducing myself to the table. I had told everybody, yeah, my name is ah, ah, ah. You feel me? My major is ah, ah, ah. And then, I don't know how, but somehow we got on a topic of zodiac signs. And if y'all know, y'all know. Your girl is crazy over zodiac signs. Like, I love a zodiac sign. When it comes to zodiac signs, if someone speak about a zodiac sign, I'll go crazy. Like, I just love to talk about zodiac signs. So... <laughs> So we started talking about signs or whatever and he just so happened to walk over there and he had sat down at our table and he was just listening and chiming in, right? So I'm just going in and I'm like, yeah, zodiac signs is this, that, and the third. What's your sign? Oh, you guys are like this. What's your sign? Oh, you guys are like that. You feel me? Like something between them lines. So he ended up telling me, oh my God, like you're really knowledgeable. Like I love how you just know so much about zodiac signs. Like a lot of people really aren't into stuff like that. And I'm just like, really? Because like from what I've known and from what I've heard, a lot of people are into zodiac signs, not only me. But that was his reaction. That was his, that's what he said. Okay. So boom, that was like the beginning part so then i noticed like after that happened i noticed he started looking at me you know how somebody looks at you and then when you look at them like they hurry up and move their eye like they don't want you to see that they looking at you kind of on the type of timing like this every time you look at them that's what he was doing i noticed he started doing that a lot right and so in my mind i'm thinking i'm like are you tripping barbie like are you tripping like that this man is looking at you the whole time he really not even looking at you but no that's really what he was doing and at the end of the day you know when somebody like you so this is what sealed the deal okay this is what sealed the motherfucking deal okay <laughs> this is what confirmed that he liked me 
so one day um one day after class i was grabbing on myself i was kind of late not that late but i was kind of late like doing my work or whatever because i was going over my work trying to make sure i had everything right because they grade our papers at the end of class and i'm about to walk out and he's like what's her name what's her name but i wasn't really paying attention to him because i wanted to purposely ignore him so in my mind i'm thinking if he keep acting like he don't know my name i'm gonna just keep walking because i really don't want to stop anyways um once he said my name i'm like i turned around I'm like what's up he like come here i need to talk to you so when i went over there to talk to him he was just like he was like what's new about the sun and the stars i'm like what's new about the sun and the stars what you talking about he was like aren't you into zodiac signs i'm like yeah i am into zodiac signs but what do you mean what's up with the sun and the stars like i was like i don't know like be a little bit more like you know specific like what what is it that you really want to know he was like what's going on this month and i'm just like bro i don't i don't know like what are you looking for i kind of felt like he just wanted to have conversation and so after that he had asked me like how old i was and i had told him that i was 27 i was about to be 28 and he was acting so shocked like <gasps> what 27 about to be 28 like oh my god he made a big deal out of that and i'm just like what's so you know what i'm saying like what's so shocking about it like is it because i'm not young like everybody else like what is what what is it so he was just like, no, that's not what it is. It's just that you look really good for your age. I'm like, okay, cool. So at this point, I'm trying to hurry up and make the conversation short because I got to go to my next class and you're wasting my time, right? So I had told him, well, I got to go because I got to go to my next class and my next class literally starts in like the next 30 minutes. So I got to go. So he was like, we'll catch up. We'll catch up. Actually, I'm going to message you. I'm like, you're going to message me? He was like, I'm going to message you. And I'm like, okay. And I ended up walking off y'all. Why this man actually messaged me? actually messaged me oh like it was just so freaking cringing like i'm like please like just please like whatever you're thinking in your mind like please just stop thinking it like and i'm the type of person i don't really just try to like to hurt people's feelings and be straight up with them but i feel like soon i'm gonna have to do that because what you're not gonna do is make me uncomfortable in my school environment okay i'm coming to school to learn i'm not here to do all that extra you know what i'm saying that type of time that you want i'm not here for that so today was like my first day back after that incident had happened which it wasn't really like a big deal to trip over but it is something to pay attention to because i don't want this man thinking something isn't what it is you know what i'm saying like i'm a student you're a teacher like let's keep stuff business strictly like i don't want to do all that extra ass stuff so today was the first day i saw him again since like that last incident or whatever and he just kept looking at me like i don't know i guess he felt played or he felt embarrassed because he thought i was gonna message him back i don't even know what the message said to be honest because i never opened it but i did see it come to my phone but i never opened it because it's kind of like <laughs> you know what i'm saying like for what like i'm not opening your message i'm not even gonna give you any false hope and i'm not even gonna make you feel like i want you to so i don't know i guess he felt kind of like embarrassed in a sense because he kept on like looking sideways and you know what i'm saying looking at the ground and you know what i'm saying <laughs> he kept doing stuff like that and he never like walked up to me and spoke to me or said anything like that so i i don't know maybe he caught the hint i hope he did but like i said one thing about me i'm not gonna feel uncomfortable for absolutely nobody okay teacher student dog cat dust i don't give a damn i'm not about to feel uncomfortable for nobody so i hope he got the hint because if he did get the hint and he keep on trying with me i'm just have to take it to a higher level because baby this ain't that okay <laughs> So today is the next day actually it's like a couple days later <clears throat> y'all today is march 7th it is thursday i i just got one class to go to today and i'm just so freaking happy because after today my spring break starts so y'all already know your girl is beyond turn okay beyonce concert i'm beyond turn i'm turned i'm ready to get up out of class school just has been so freaking much on me like literally it's been so freaking much on me and i'm just so glad that we have this week off because baby baby i needed it okay <laughs> y'all and sorry about my voice i am getting sick and this shit is so irritated because it literally came from nowhere okay literally came from nowhere like i was just good i was just good good spirits good everything and next thing you know, I just woke up and I, I'm sick. I'm so confused, y'all. I'm I'm literally so freaking confused. And I think my girlfriend got me sick. And that's like so not cool. Like, <laughs> it's like so not cool. Like, it's so crazy because I could be sick as a dog. Go around her. She can kiss me all in my mouth and still won't get sick. But let her be sick. Let her be sick and I'm going to be sick as a dog. Like, this is crazy. This honestly is crazy. I'm kind of annoyed about it. I'm not even going to lie to you because I'm going to work this weekend. And when I get sick, everything just feels like so plugged up, so congested. You know what I'm saying? And then on top of that, I be feeling real, real heavy. A normal day, I feel light because I'm not even big for one. You know what I'm saying? But when I'm sick, I feel so heavy. So 
I don't know how I'm gonna get through this weekend, but we're gonna have to get through this weekend because we got some money to make, all right? <laughs> I'm about to go ahead and go to my last class today. Well, my one and only class today. I'm so happy my theater class canceled class. Like, he to go, like, for real. Like, I'm so happy he had canceled class. I was hoping my math teacher canceled his class, but you know, y'all already know how math people do. They be so serious. I just don't be understanding. They Math people is so freaking serious. This morning I had woke up, right? And when I checked my phone, I saw I had a message from him. It had said, we will be meeting in the library today the computer lab today not the library um make sure everybody's there i will be checking attendance and i'm just like yo serious ass like no today starts a spring break like stop acting crazy like the fact that you want to check attendance today and you've never checked attendance before is weird like it's giving it's giving weird it's giving you don't have nothing to do it's giving you like being at school it's giving you're weird like <laughs> Like, let it go. Like, I just, I don't know, y'all. I just, I really just don't know. And that's why I be like, dang, should I come back to school after this semester over? Or should I take a semester off? Because this is just too much. I ain't gonna hold you. This man ain't never checked the tennis, bro. Never checked the tennis. But all of a sudden, when today starts our spring break, you checking the tennis? You're weird. You're weird. <laughs> after I come from this class, I gotta go to Starbucks so I can get me a medicine ball so I can feel better. And then I'm going out to eat with my sister. I'm super excited about going out to eat with her today because we kind of, I ain't gonna say fell out, but we kind of had gotten to it a little bit. Honestly, I knew where her frustration had stemmed from, so I didn't really take it out on her too much. We just said we was going to make up over dinner, so I'm super excited about that. But it is 1045, so let me hurry up and run to this class right quick. And I could just be free, okay? So I can be free. <laughs> So I'm at the gas station right now. I just hate the way my voice sounds. This sounds so terrible. But <laughs> I'm at the gas station right now. I just got to eat it with my sister. Hold on, y'all, right quick. Hold on. Ooh. So yeah, y'all, so like I said, I just got done eating dinner with my sister. It was such a vibe, like such a great time. Like, ugh, I love her. <laughs> I love her, like wanna be her. No, I don't wanna be her, but I love her so much. Like, that's literally my everything right there, y'all. That's like the closest thing to me now that my mom has passed away. So I cherish her relationship. Like me and her relationship, I cheers okay we most definitely had a good time like we had talked over dinner and kind of like discussed our little differences you feel what I'm saying and I feel like that's so important for you and whoever it is you love regardless if it's a family member or a spouse or even a friend to like anytime y'all are going through something you feel me to so talk it out like it don't always have to be bad blood like I know a lot of people feel like when you get in an argument with them it's up like it's up and it's stuck in it's bad blood it don't always have to be like that if you really call yourself love with a person it shouldn't be a problem with talking something out with that person so that's what we definitely did over dinner and i feel like well i'm not even gonna say dinner lunch but that's something that i feel like we most definitely needed 
And on top of that, we actually told each other we're gonna try to start spending more time with each other. Cause sometimes you can get caught up in your own life. Like at the end of the day, we all grow. We all got somewhere to be. We all got bills to pay. You feel me? We all got jobs to go to. Like sometimes you can really get caught up in your own life. So I ended up saying, you know what? We're just gonna make this like a ritual thing where we go out at least two times a month, if not once. And then try to do like an outside activity with each other. Cause we all we really got for real. I don't know y'all, I'm just feeling so good after that lunch. Like I just, my mood is just even better, okay? <laughs> but I do wanna tell y'all something right quick while it's on my mind. So I was just on live, right, on TikTok. I'm always on TikTok live. If you're not following me on TikTok, go follow your girl, go catch you a live. I don't know, you might fall in love, I don't know. <laughs> Every time I go live, people always tell me, do you have a podcast? Do you have a podcast? Do you have a podcast? Like I get asked this question so freaking much. I really came to the conclusion. I was like, should I make a podcast? You feel me? Like y'all let me know. Let me know in the comment section below right now if y'all think it's a good idea, if you think I shouldn't do it. I just wanna know y'all thoughts because a lot of people be telling me I should make a podcast. So I was thinking about it. I was like, maybe I should make me a podcast, like a separate YouTube channel from me just dancing and make the second YouTube channel a podcast and naming the podcast, Let's Keep It A Stack. Y'all get it? Barbie Stacks, Let's Keep It A Stack. <laughs> I think it's so freaking cute. Like the idea is so cute. Like I freaking love it. Like actually somebody on TikTok helped me out with the name. They was like, I think you should name it. Let's keep it a stack. Somebody said I should do keeping it up with stacks, but I was just like, nah, that's too much giving Kylie Jenner. Like, you know, keeping up with the Kardashians. Like I was just like, that's just too much. Like I was like, that's too like close to what they got going on. Like I want my own separate thing. You feel me? So y'all, what y'all think about that? What y'all think? Y'all think I should start a second YouTube channel and make it a podcast? Like, would y'all tune in? Would y'all listen to it? Would y'all watch it? Because I know a lot of people come to my channel, like this channel right here, strictly for stripping and stuff like that. But if y'all don't know, I like to talk. I'm definitely a talker. So I was thinking maybe the podcast channel will really like do numbers. You feel me? For the people who just like to just listen to people talk. Like, and I'm definitely the type of person who likes to talk myself. So I don't know, y'all. That was just a thought. I was definitely thinking about doing it. And honestly, I think I'm about to actually do it. I think I'm gonna actually do it. Two YouTube channels are gonna be kinda crazy and kinda hard to manage, but I know anything I put my mind to, I can do. Let me know y'all comments on it down below if y'all think I should do it or if y'all think I shouldn't do it. And then also, when you tell me if you think I should or not, tell me your reason why, okay? <laughs> Cause I definitely wanna know that too. y'all so today is the next day today is march 9th it is 10 10 p.m all right and y'all already know what's going on y'all already know when the hair is done the makeup's done y'all already know what time it is all right <laughs> it's time to hit the booty club and that's all period i'm so sorry about my voice y'all i know i sound crazy as hell i am still sick unfortunately i feel like i've been sick for about a good three four days now i'm trying to shake it but it's literally not going nowhere and at this point it's whooping my ass Y'all, I'm trying to get rid of it. I'm trying to shake the cold. I'm literally trying, but nothing I'm doing is working. I'm just hoping and praying that I don't have the flu because if I got the flu, then that's a whole nother ball game, okay? <laughs> but your girl just got done doing her hair and her makeup on live, y'all. Y'all already know what I'm about to say. If y'all have not yet, make sure that y'all go ahead over to TikTok and y'all go follow your girl on TikTok because we definitely live over there. I go live pretty much every single day. And on the weekends, I go live and I do my makeup before work. So if you guys want to catch y'all a TikTok live and seeing how I do my makeup, make sure you guys head over to my TikTok on the weekends, Friday, Saturday, nine times out of 10, Sundays, I usually don't be on there um, doing my, my makeup and stuff like that because I have school Monday. So if you want to catch y'all a makeup tutorial, tap in on my TikTok live Friday and Saturday. All right, <laughs> but your girl just got done getting ready for the club, y'all. I think I look super freaking cute, super freaking pretty. I'm ready to take their money. What's up? Like, I am not playing no games tonight. The bills is my do now, not later. So, pay up straight up. I'm on my gross sisters type time and pay up, hands up, cash out. <laughs> Oh, do y'all know who the gross sisters is? Like, probably the older ones know who the gross sisters is. But if y'all mad young, y'all probably don't know. But the gross sisters is the girls off of um, Penny Proud. That, you know the girls that used to rob people for their money? That's definitely going to be me tonight. Like, hands up, cash out. <laughs> 
<laughs> like, what are you talking about? <laughs> now, honestly, I don't really know what to expect out of tonight because tonight, because they don't really have nothing going on in the city. But I do know that this one customer is coming back. And I don't know if y'all remember the customer that I was talking that I'm talking about right now. But if y'all saw my last vlog, y'all definitely know who I'm talking about. So y'all remember that customer that I told y'all that was getting high in the club that was doing that cocaine, all right? Yeah. Him. He coming to the club tonight, y'all. And I just hope he go crazy. I hope I get picked in the section. My homegirl said, girl, don't worry about it. I'm going to make sure you get in there. I said, period. All right? That's how you do it. You look out for one another. All right? But he's supposed to come to the club tonight. So I'm hoping that he get at least 10K and just go crazy. All right? Just get $10,000 and just go crazy and just choose me and my homegirl. That would be like five bands a piece. <laughs> But realistically speaking, I know he probably not going to do that, okay? He probably going to get like a cool three, 4000 and probably pick like three, four girls like he did last time. Which is cool. As long as I get up in there, that's all I care about, okay? <laughs> so, y'all, the goal for tonight is $1,000. And like I said, I don't really know what to expect out of tonight. So, I'm going to just wish for the best. You know what I'm saying? Wish for the best. And we're definitely not expecting the worst because you have to speak positive, all right? Before y'all set foot in that club, make sure y'all speaking positive. We're going to make a big, fat, crazy bag tonight. We're going to go super tonight. We're going to make us some bread tonight. We're going to have a good night tonight. Like, you have to speak it into the universe. You feel me? Like, you have to honestly think, like, ain't nobody going to speak positive on you besides you. You're positive on yourself. Before you step up in here, let yourself know, like, yeah, you a baddie. You literally, you a baddie. Eh? <laughs> you a baddie. You're going to make a big, fat, crazy bag tonight. And ain't nobody going to stop you, period. And ain't nobody going to get in your way and watch it happen. I'm trying to tell y'all, it's power in the tongue. Y'all just got to make sure y'all using it correctly. All right? <laughs> So the goal for tonight is a thousand dollars, y'all. Wish your girl a fat, crazy, stupid bag, and let the money flow to us naturally. Before I go, I do want to tell y'all: if y'all have not copped y'all ebooks, what is y'all doing? What is y'all doing? Like, make sure y'all copy our ebooks. I'm gonna make sure I drop the ebook down below in the description box below. I did create an ebook a month ago, and this ebook teaches you everything that you need to know about becoming a dancer. But it's also really good for girls that's been dancing for a while but still don't know how to secure the bag, okay? So the book is gonna teach you everything that you need to know from where to work at, your auditions, auditions, how to pass your auditions, your first night working in a strip club, and how to make your first thousand dollars in a night, okay? I'm trying to tell you, I drop all all my gems, all my tricks, all my tips in this book. This is literally how I make the amount of money I do. And if you know, you know. And I don't really even have to say too much, okay? <laughs> so make sure y'all get your ebook. The ebook is only $40, all right? You're literally paying $40 to learn how to make $1,000. That's an investment. Y'all gotta understand. We are in 2024. We not in 2019, 2020. We are in 2024. You have to spend money to make money. You have to invest in yourself. If you don't invest in yourself, ain't nobody gonna invest in you. And that's just period. You have to spend money to make money. So if you guys are interested in purchasing the ebook, all the information will be dropped down below in the description box below. I love you guys so much. I'm about to hurry up and hop on the road because it's already 10 to 18 and I gotta be at work before 12 o'clock. So I love you guys so much and I'm gonna see y'all when I come back from the club. <laughs>
for them to be closed for two extra hours and then finally opening up at one o'clock and we open up at 11. So I was just like, hold on, let me make a couple phone calls because some ain't right. I called my homegirl up and I'm like, yo, why are they saying they're not opening up to one o'clock? She was like, I don't know either, but I'm about to figure out. I'm like, babe. So she ended up figuring out, calling me back. She was like, the lights is off. I'm like, the lights is off? What is this to pick? Like, <laughs> what is this? Like, the lights is off? So I'm just like, you gotta be kidding me, right? She's like, no, I'm so serious. The lights is off. I'm like, bro, they're just gonna magically come back on at one o'clock? Like, what? Like, what's, I'm just trying to figure out like my next move. Like, should I still go? Should I not? Like, she was like, I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna just kick back and just watch. So I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna just take that as a sign. I ain't going to work. So I ended up not going to work Friday night, right? So the next day had came, I had got news that the club didn't open at all Friday. Not even, not even at one, it didn't open at all. So now I'm kind of like, did y'all ever get the light situation figured out? You know what I'm saying? Like what's going on now? So they ended up getting in a group chat and it was like, we will be open tonight. This is yesterday. They was like, we will be open tonight. So y'all make sure y'all pop out, da, da da We just had a light issue. So I'm like, all right, cool. So I get dressed, I do my hair, I do my makeup. I come on camera, I leave the house. I literally, I kid you not, I live like an hour and 45 minutes away from the club. It was almost 30 minutes to the club when my homegirl called me and she was like, Barbara, just turn around. I'm like, why? She was like, the club's not open. I was like, are you fucking serious? Are you serious? Are you serious? The club is not open. I was like, I'm damn near there. I'm already, th I'm almost technically already there. And y'all talking about the club is not open? So bro, when I tell you I got so pissed off, I got so mad, I had went in our group chat. I went off. I ain't even gonna hold you. I went off. And let me tell y'all what I said word from word, because at this point, they really had me messed up. So I went in the group chat and I said, when the club is not gonna be open, someone needs to say something. Y'all be quick to come in this chat for everything else. Be more considerate of other people's time, especially people who don't live out here. And I sent the rolling eyes. So then the manager gonna write back and gonna say, sorry ladies, we're closed tonight. So I was just like, oh, okay, now you wanna say something. Now you wanna say something that I'm already on my way back home. And then the people that's over the club was just like, you're right, and we apologize to all of you ladies. We thought we could have it all fixed right before we opened, but the problem was bigger than what we expected. Very sorry, and we apologize to you all. This was out of our hands. My whole thing was, you guys are literally come in this group chat and talk about every and anything. Anytime a big event's coming, an event, period. Y'all make sure y'all come in this group chat and y'all promote, and y'all talk about promote, 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 promote. Make sure y'all posting on y'all stories. Make sure y'all going outside, y'all promote for the club. Make sure y'all do this, make sure y'all do that. But y'all can't come in a group chat and say we're closed tonight. Like that's what really pissed me off. Like y'all y'all communication skills are terrible. Y'all communicate what y'all want to communicate. Oh, it's really because the club is ran by selfish people. It's people who really don't care about nothing but themselves. I go lie to you, I was so freaking pissed off. And not only that y'all, cause I was pissed off about that too. What pissed me off on top of that was the simple fact because the white boy, remember I told y'all about the white boy that did the cocaina? He was coming to the club tonight. So he literally pulled up and he hit my homegirl up. And he like, is the club closed? And she like, no, the club not closed because we're thinking it's open because that's what they said. It was open even on the page. So what pissed me off about that was my manager was like, well, no, if he want to come and spend money, we could just run some extension cords through the club and put up some lamps and y'all could just dance on one side of the club that got the lights. What? <laughs> what do you not sell do you not hear how dumb that sound you just dance on one side of the club the side of the club that got the lights that sound ghetto as hell for one and that sounds dangerous for two like don't nobody want to be up in there dancing with no lamps on like what the hell like like really make it make sense really make it make sense and this is what pisses me off because everybody want to be a leader but don't nobody know how to lead it really makes no sense why would i want to be dancing in the club with freaking lamps and extension cords going through the club like it's never that serious so i just ended up coming home and i was just like you know what i took my makeup off i got in the shower again and then i went to sleep because i was just like if i if i sit up here and really let my emotions take control of me or how mad i was Somebody's getting cursed out. I'm not even gonna hold you because it literally took 2.5 seconds just to send out a message to the people. Not even to the people, but just in a group chat letting people know that the club isn't open. Like how, how simple could that have been? Quote unquote, the lights are fixed and they say that we're open tonight, but I'm not going tonight. Y'all done played with me twice. Two times out of the whole weekend, I'm definitely not going tonight. So I'm just gonna work next weekend when I know for sure, for sure the lights is back on because y'all not about to keep playing with my time. Like absolutely not. <laughs>
I hope that y'all enjoyed this video. I've been trying to make my vlogs a little bit longer for you guys because I know that's what y'all been wanting. So y'all most definitely give me my props, okay? <laughs> give your girl her props because I've definitely been doing it. But I love you guys so freaking much. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn y'all post notifications on so y'all can get notified every time I post a video. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in my next one. <laughs>